It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world only a banger home. Hey, Melanie, good morning. Good morning, afternoon. Afternoon, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. <laughs> How you feeling today, first of all? I just want to ask. I feel good because I'm fixed. You're fixed? <laughs> I'm fixed right now. Uh, what's your definition of fixed for those uh, that don't know? Get my bag of dope. Keep it moving. And do your thing, right? Go right back to work. Okay. How old are you, Melanie? Uh, 47. 47? Mm -hmm. All right. Where are you from? I'm um, originally from Frankfurt. Frankfurt? Mm -hmm. Not too far from Kensington, right? Right, right. Yeah. Right now, I'm born in Boulevard. Okay. What's your uh, choice of drug? Uh, right now, it's the, it's not even dope anymore, it's Fetty. Fetty? Yeah. Fetty and all? Yeah. How long have you been dealing with that? Uh, I guess within like the last year. How about the real dope? Was you dealing with dope when it I was dope? Never. I was stuck on a purpose at 30s. Okay. And then the price went up to $60 a pill. So oh. Here it's the same thing, the $5. Really I hear that, I hear this, I hear that expensive. so much. I hear that so yeah. many times. Yep. Yeah. outrageous. In the morning, one in the afternoon when I'm on break for work. And then when I'm done working, I come back. Yeah, um, we was talking behind the scenes, and you know, a guy was trying to approach you. Right. He thought you was a trick right, and right. stuff. Never that. Never that. Never. Uh, you that. actually got a job, right? Yes. Every day. Every day. They know what I do. I appreciate your yeah, work ethic. Yeah, just don't get high. Don't get high at work. I'm sorry, right before I come back. Okay, yeah, I appreciate your work ethic. You know, you, you, you got a habit. I'm a director in a nursing home to work in a restaurant, so that's how far you, far you can fall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Director at a nursing home to. Working in a piece of rigging. Oh man, was your habit was the reason you losing that nursing home job? A little bit of that, and some personal reasons. You know, dealing with an ex, just depression. Depression. Yeah. Okay. So you just forget about everything when you high and just get moving. Right. Yeah, out here is crazy. Like I fell, yeah, I fell. Yesterday. Yeah. Right here in the park, I took a hit and fell face first right in the, right in my head. Yeah. And I'm lucky some guy actually helped me this time. Everybody else gets lucky to get robbed. You dip out, people rob you. Dipping out, that's uh, nodding off, right? right? For those that don't know what dipping out means. They'd rather rob you and keep it moving. Do you nod off sometime when you use? Yeah, I just nodded off the other day so I messed my head up. You ever been late for work because you was nodding off? No, I've been late for work to grab. So. Okay. You had to make sure you. Fly, I gotta make sure I get it before I get to work, and then I'll wind up losing money getting okay. late for work. But that's more important to me to grab than to be late for work. I don't care about being late for work. Right. Which is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I gotta grab first. I, I understand that. I understand that. So, how was your childhood, Melanie? My childhood was wonderful. I grew up in Williamstown, New Jersey. Okay, Williamstown. I everything, everything, and I got. I broke my wrist, and they gave me Vicodin. And then after Vicodin, I take, got a Percocet. That's what the hell am I taking Vicodin for? Oh, right. It spiraled out of control, and it's and I know I'm snorting five, six, thirty a day. Dang. And high was it high school or? No, Before this, this all started while I was a director at the nursing home. Oh. I never touched drugs until I was about 40. So you was, you was snorting a perk 30s. Yeah. Why you went from popping them to snorting them? Watch somebody else do it. Oh. Uh, do it. The reaction was like, just try it. Once I tried it once. Did it hit you faster? Yeah. Okay, that's another yeah, thing. Yeah, and that, hmm, one time I grabbed a, a bad perk. It was a Fetty perk. Yeah. Never went back. So it started with the Fetty perk? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You know the uh, they call them blues out on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and them blues is is spreading so much. Right, right. They, they just, people don't know if they're fake or real. Some people can tolerate two real thirties and they take two fatty thirties. Yeah, them. yeah. I heard I heard it's like some different type of testers to tell. Yeah, yeah. But not people walking around here with testers. Yeah, they not. They try and get high. They try and get high. They try and test nothing. Wow. So you know, director at a nursing home mm -hmm. to working at a restaurant. But guess what? Yeah. <laughs> Guess what? You still have a job though, yeah, and, and, and I want to give you your flowers yeah. while you're here, cause yeah. it's people that don't get high that right. can't get up and go to a yeah. job. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get up every day. So I, right now, I just want to give you, hand you your flowers. So, um, how was your childhood? Um, my childhood was good. Grew up in Wayneton, New Jersey. Uh, a good family. My parents got divorced. That's how I wound up coming here to Philly. Yeah. And I never came to Philly. I never wanted to. Yeah. You got any kids? Yeah, I have 25, 24, and 21. Okay, how's your relationship with them at the moment? With my two sons, it's good. With my daughter, the 22 year old, she's hurt. She's hurt. She knows what I do, and she thinks I take drugs over them. Over them? Wow. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get out of the She still, do she still check on you, even though she's oh, yeah, a little yeah, hurt? For yeah, she's, 
She That's great. If I don't call her every day, because she, she wanna know if you're all right, right? I might get that fuck. She might. If I don't call her, I might be dead somewhere. Cause she never knows what kind of bag I might grab. Right. Are you homeless at the moment? No. No, you got somewhere to lay your head. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you working? Friends. You got somewhere to lay your head? Yeah. I always make sure that. And stuff like that. Yeah. You ever? I'm a lot better than a lot of people out here. Do you feel like? Do you ever get scared that you might get too deep into drugs that you can't work the restaurant job you got right now? Not really, but I have messed up my money before where I've been laid on my rent. I almost been doing this thing. Yeah. You just get going drugs more than paying your rent. You figure, oh, I can double it up next month. And right. It spirals out of control, but I got on top of it. Okay. Any other addictions other than drugs? The cigarettes. Mm hmm How often do you think you spend a day on your fix? Maybe about a hundred. A hundred dollars a day? That's just on the drugs alone, right? Yeah. The uh, Fetty? Yeah. Okay. How about cigarettes? Cigarettes pack a day. A pack a day? Mm -hmm. Okay. If you only had enough for either the drugs or the cigarettes, which one would you choose? Drugs. Drugs? And a heartbeat. And a heartbeat? Heartbeat. You could have anybody for a cigarette. Yeah. Nobody giving you a bag of those. What's one of the craziest things you've seen out here in Kensington? Oh, people laying down, you don't know if they're dead or alive, covered in sores, nobody checking on them. They, people treat animals better than they treat people out here. People treat animals better than they treat people out here? Yeah. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. How about the shootings? The shootings don't scare you? Nah, I, I got that, that onset. If, if you look like a victim, you'll be a victim. Okay. So I just walk and like... I don't act like, yeah, just move. Somebody come at me, I act like I'm crazy. Yeah. I start talking to myself because people don't fuck with crazy. Yeah. So I just act like I'm retarded so nobody fuck with me. <laughs> so are you religious at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was raised really Christian, but I'm not living a Christian lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Do you still pray even though you, you know, using substances and stuff? Do you? Unfortunately, I pray for the wrong reasons. And what's that? What's the wrong reason? Like if I mess up, I pray to God to help me fix it. Okay. Yeah, pray for the wrong reason. How you feel when you when you didn't have your fix? Like how how was that Sick. sickness? Sick. You gotta throw up, sweat, and the sweats are the worst. Yeah. The sweats you're you're burning up, but you're cold and you're hot and you're getting broke, drenched in sweat. That's yeah. the worst. That's right. the yeah. So sick, uncomfortable, right? Oh yeah. That's the worst. Would you tell the youth out here that's getting high? Running the streets. You still want to have some drugs. You said the youth? You got here selling drugs. You're out here doing the watch outs for the cops. And really? Yeah. What are the age ranges for that? I seen as young as maybe eight or nine. Eight or nine? Yeah, riding a bike to the top. Nobody yell at the block to the old head. What's the youngest you ever get served by a kid? Probably about 15 or 16. About like 15 year olds? Yeah. Oh man, they starting very young out here. We're cruising them early. Recruit them early. Yeah, but yeah, I think maybe the mom out here and she ain't got no money and people gotta eat. Yeah, you know I mean? they they're eat. going through different circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the city. You know, the city they move fast, young, right, fast think, You know, drug dealers. You think it'd be a lot of people with money and they're balling. These people out here, they're they're addicts that are that are serving. They're working for their fix. They're working for their fix. I hear that all the time. Yeah, they're not. Wow, man. These drug dealers out here are not ballers. They just regular people stuck with a habit, working to get their fix all day on. Mm. Everybody got their own addictions and stuff going on. They hustling to provide for theirs. I came down here, I got served by a smoke. Oh, man. The first time, the first time I came down here, I got served by a smoker. A smoker. So you got served by an addict. Yeah, and it was I was confused. I didn't know if he was you know gonna get me here, but no, nah, it's like every corner of those addicts, they're the drug dealers. Do you think the uh, the dealers is doing that on purpose? Like, yo, we want to put the yeah. addicts on the block yeah. so they because the cops are gonna look. You know, like they just a smoker, like they ain't nobody. You know what I mean? So the people behind it, they just playing the back exactly. scene. Oh, wow. Exactly. They're not gonna put themselves out here. Oh man. Yeah. The plug gonna sit in the background. The plug just gonna sit in the back and watch. Mm -hmm. Wow. Smoker get locked up. They gonna release the next guy. Oh yeah, cause they use. Yep. They get high. Right. Wow. They don't carry enough on them where they can say, you know, it's for personal use. Yeah. They're not walking around with bundles. Right. They got bundles in the tub. Oh man, that's different. Mm -hmm. That's different. That's different, man. Um, was there any times you had to sleep outside in, in certain circumstances in your life? Um, one time I rode the train in MFL overnight. That's just because I was so fucking high. 
didn't go home. You just didn't go home. You had nights like that a lot, huh? Uh, a couple of them. Couple yeah. Of them. Are you dating right now? Huh? Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Uh, How was your relationship with your last boyfriend? It probably broke up. Now they look at me because I was on a perk since then. It probably led to a lot of it. Hmm. Oh, so you haven't dated in a while then, huh? Not about a year. Hmm. Was he using? No. No? Oh, so it's kind of hard to... Right. Well, yeah. He was selling, so... He was selling it. Yeah. Was he feeding your, feeding to your addiction? No, nah, he was selling different drugs. Okay. Hmm. So a little about yourself. What's your sign? I'm a Libra. When's your birthday? September 28th. Okay. What's your favorite food to eat? Lasagna. Lasagna? Yeah. <laughs> Do you um? I know you're not homeless at the moment, but do you still get the free meals they be giving out out here, or no? You pass Sometimes on it. Sometimes I'll grab like a water or a coffee or something. Okay. Yeah. Well, you work at a restaurant, right. so I know you. I yeah, you can eat all day. It's very if smart. I'm tired, thirsty, and somebody out. Very I'm smart. Why buy? They go get the me for free. Right. So you know, a dude thought you was a trick and stuff. Right. And you ignored them because that's not how you get down. Exactly. On how you feel about the girls selling their body out here in these streets. I. It, I don't knock them, but it's not for me. Everybody Are you friends with some of them? Like, I really don't have friends. I have acquaintances. Okay. But yeah, I, everybody got a story, and I like to talk to people. So I listen to anybody. Okay. Sometimes that's all people need is somebody to talk to sometimes. Okay. And so I feel like they're outcasts and nobody wants to talk to them because they're, you know, they need to get a shower or they're a drug addict. Okay. So everybody's like teaching like they got the plague where they, where they just want to talk to somebody. Okay. I'll talk to anybody. Right. So you know, some people say the nine to five flow is too slow for them right especially out here in these streets they be like yo the nine to five is just it's just the money's too slow for me right. how you feel about that i get paid every day so. tips and stuff yeah okay blessings yeah and they, and i get paid my shifts every day too so. okay blessings it, it, it's a curse and a blessing it's a curse and a blessing yeah. all right I, I know it's cold out here it's raining i'd like to thank you for your time oh, you're very welcome. thank you for your courage to speak up you're welcome. you know hopefully somebody listen to your story and not come out here right 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 yeah don't do and it. not try it don't you know do it. Don't do it. this is their class part <laughs> the second edition of their class for those that didn't listen in school <laughs> <laughs> but um, thank you for your courage on speaking out. God bless to you. You too, honey. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. It's a danger zone. You in the middle of a world only a banger home.